Welcome to the world of Fallout 76. In the harsh and unforgiving landscape of Appalachia, where danger lurks around every corner and survival is a daily struggle, there shines a beacon of hope, the Fallout 76 community. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the heart and soul of this vibrant community. From Vault 76 to the swamps of the mire, players from all walks of life come together in a shared quest for support, striving for friendliness and to help all types of players. What truly sets the Fallout 76 community apart is not just the gameplay, bosses, or adventures, but the people we meet along the way. Whether it's teaming up to complete some quests or lending players some gear and meds, the spirit of this community runs deep and glows bright. Join me as we explore the world of Fallout 76 and discover why this community is one of the greatest to ever be. While I've had numerous wonderful experiences receiving help from other players and witnessing the genuine love this community has for one another, I believe it's only fitting for them to be the ones to articulate why this community is so remarkable. I've collected an array of testimonies from other players on Reddit, and I want to thank everyone who took the time to respond to my post. Flame War Duck 700 I was at my beginnings and had waved to someone over level 200. They were in cool power armor towering over me while I stood there. Unexpectedly, they waved back and asked to follow them. We went to the responder's base together, and he then crafted weapons and armor for me that really helped me since the gear I had before wasn't that great. They also gave me some stim packs and radaways that lasted me till level 50 or so. I had those weapons on display at my camp, but sadly, my character was deleted due to an internal problem at Bethesda. I sadly lost my character and had to start over. Cuddly Cthulhu I just started playing this game this year. People would often stop me and give me stuff when I was a low level, and I was genuinely confused by it. My friend had later explained that the community is super welcoming to new players. I remember someone requesting to trade me, and after looking at my gear, they gave me a thumbs up. I guess my gear was approved, lol. I've had people ask about my cats when I didn't realize I had my open mic on, explaining the game to them. I've also had people compliment my power armor not realizing they were on open mic and hearing their genuine reaction, then emoting back to them while they try and mute their mic. It was the X01 Nuka Quantum paint, I think. I think it's just cute, not super rare or anything. I was honestly really worried about the game coming into it, but being the little sister who was always in the backseat to my older brothers playing the games for the most part, this has been a really similar and wonderful experience and I am super psyched to dump more time into the game. Zealous Ideal Bet 10 On my very first day of playing the game, New Year's just after release, I was barely out of the vault. I had about two weapons to my name and I had just made it to Flatwoods. Out of nowhere, a high level player shows up. He asks me if I need any ammo and proceeds to drop me about 500 308 rounds for me. The first thing anybody ever did to me in that game was give me ammo for my gun. I still have that pipe rifle in my stash. Additional Ninja 255 Someone came to my camp the other day and just gifted me 7 or 8 Foshnot masks. Another player also gave me my best gun along with 2,000 bullets. I love that gun so much, it's a charging two-shot Gauss rifle. I recently attacked a super mutant camp and totally underestimated how many enemies there were. Out of nowhere, two players just came and saved my bacon. I actually love the Fallout community. Master Major I'm a level 300 or so that also sticks to myself while playing. I went into a server with a group of 20s and 30s struggling to finish safe and sound. They kept getting killed by all the creatures as soon as they spawned. I come in and start killing everything and would complete the mission. Afterwards, they were emoting constantly and sending me messages basically worshipping the ground I was walking on. We ended up playing for about 5 or 6 hours and I pretty much gave them everything I didn't need, which was pretty much everything I found. We eventually parted ways and I never heard from them again, but it's always fun to help out the newer players. Vixen Fixin I showed up at level 200 to a dropped connection in Watogo. No mare for a day, so the bots were hostile. No jetpack, just my wits. A level 1400 plus player was there and together we did the event. 
We got the drop, and as usual, when I check my pack, no Enclave Plasma. Just my luck. The level 1400 looks at me in emotes present, and drops the rare Align Flamer modded Enclave Plasma rifle at my feet. Thanks, mister. You're a living legend in my mind. The Dude Abides 86. I just like helping people out, modding their armor and weapons for them if I know the plans. Also just dropping things to people in need. Plans, junk, weapons, or armor. I got a ton of help early on, and I'm just passing it on. Hoping that the next player will do the same. I'm only level 330, and I can only imagine what I'll have to give away on my characters and several hundred more. Nordic Viking 69 I saw a player called something like Dracula, so I dropped him a blood pack. He did the laughing emote. Commodore I sometimes run around randomly asking people if they have a moment to talk about their power armor's extended warranty. One guy just said, not today, and jumped off a cliff. Cock Hero 43 First time playing, I was level 10 or something. I had wandered into Grafton and had aggroed a monster. I had to hide in a little tent as I was out of stim packs. Someone's level that was in the hundred shows up and kills it, then gives me a hundred stim packs. Fragmented Oasis When I started playing again during the Fashionat event, the amount of people that were just chilling and marching in the parade was fun. Words are powerful, but actions will always speak louder. This community goes beyond dropping spare supplies to newer players in the game. They come together and show support in very powerful and heartwarming ways for friends and even strangers. Founded in 2020, Fallout for Hope has been instrumental in raising funds for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, Make-A-Wish, American Heart Association, and the Alzheimer's Association. Partnering with over 250 streamers, the charity has raised over $525,000 to date. This year, they held a charity event in February supporting Make-A-Wish, raising over $9,000 with the support of the modding community. Later this year, Fallout for Hope has another event planned for the entire month of May, where they collaborate with well-known Bethesda voice actor to support the Alzheimer's Association's The Longest Day campaign. Run by the community, it is essential to highlight the large impact this organization has made on many people's lives. If you're interested in learning more about Fallout for Hope, links will be in the description. Sometimes, certain individuals rise to the challenge and become a bright light for those around them to orbit. Greg Redefined, a prominent player and streamer within the community, was deeply involved in spreading positivity and support. As a newer content creator, he shared his love for the game with others and became integral to various groups including the Wasteland HOA, which reviewed other players' camps. His passion for philanthropy extended beyond the game, as he actively engaged in charity work and support causes such as the Fallout for Hope, which raises funds for the St. Jude Children's Hospital, and he also supported the American Heart Association's Plant a Tree Initiative. Tragically, he passed away in the summer of 2021, leaving a void in the Fallout 76 community. In response, the community rallied together and held a fundraiser in his honor, raising over $7,000 for the Trevor Project, which is a mental health organization for LGBTQ plus youth. Players created numerous videos, Reddit posts, and built monuments in their camp to pay tribute to his memory. It's amazing to see somebody embody many values that the Fallout community has and transfer that over to the real world. If you're interested in learning more about the charities mentioned or to learn more about Greg, please check the description below. As you see, the Fallout 76 community is much more than killing bosses or getting loot. It's a bond between the players with shared passion for support, love, and fun. From helping newer players to honoring fallen friends, this community embodies the best of what gaming can be. So whether you're a seasoned veteran or just leaving the vault, remember that you're never alone. We will always come together for support and to make lasting impacts on people's lives. Thank you to everyone who shared their stories with me and to those who make the community a special place. This game would be completely different without so many amazing people. Thanks for watching.